Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to once again welcome you to our YouTube channel which is purely educational and focusing on journalism as a career. My name is Ned Nankatam. I currently head the broadcast journalism department at United Media Consultant and Trainers School of Journalism and Mass Communication, Womkat Kampala Campus. And I also double as the station manager for Inaman Broadcasting Company Limited, which is managed by United Christian Center Church in Makiriri, Chikoni. This is lecture number one, in which we focus on the introduction to public relations. Public relations are practices of managing the spread of information between an individual or an organization, such as a business, government agency or non-profit organization and the public public relations may include an organization or individual gaining exposure to their audience using topics of public interest and news items that do not require direct payment public relations is the way organizations companies and individuals communicate with the publics and the media as a PR specialist, communicates with the target audience directly or indirectly through media with an aim to create and maintain a positive image and create a strong relationship with the audience. Examples include use of tools like the press release, newsletters, public appearances, mention the rest, as well as utilization of the World Wide Web. Public relations professionals help a business or individual cultivate a positive reputation with the public through various unpaid or earned communication, including traditional media, social media, and in-person engagement. They also help clients defend their reputation during crises that threaten their credibility. Now we we'll look at a uh, PR and the world of business. The world of business is characterized by fierce competition and in order to win new customers and retain the existing ones, the firms have to distinguish themselves from the competition. But they also need to create and maintain positive public image. A PR specialist or a firm helps them both create and maintain good reputation amongst both media and the customers by communicating in their behalf and presenting their products or services or and the overall operation in the best light possible. A positive public image helps create a strong relationship with customers, which in turn increases sales, prompting the business to earn more profits. I will now take you through the peer uh, tools and uh, techniques. Public relations specialists and uh, firms use a number of tools and techniques to boost their clients' public image and help them form a meaningful relationship with their target audience. To achieve this, they use a number of tools such as news releases and statements for media, newsletters, organization and uh, participation at public events, conferences, conventions, awards, among the many. PR specialists, of course, also utilize the internet tools such as social media networks and blogs. Through the mentioned tools, PR specialists give the target audience a better insight into the client's activity and products or service as well as increasing publicity. Public relations specialists establish and maintain relationships with an organization's target audience, the media, relevant trade media and other opinion leaders. Common responsibilities include designing communications campaigns, writing newsletters and other content for news, working with the press, 
arranging interviews for company spokespersonnel, writing speeches for the company leaders, acting as an organization spokesperson, preparing clients for press conferences, media interviews and speeches, writing website and social media content, managing company reputation, especially in times of crisis, which is labeled crisis management, managing internal communications and marketing activities like brand awareness and event management. Success in the field of public relations requires a deep understanding of the interests and concerns of each of the company's many stakeholders. The public relations professional must know how to effectively address these concerns using the most powerful tools of the public relations trade which is publicity. We now turn our mind to sharing about public relations tools and activities. By using proven public relations tools and activities, you can promote positive attitude and behavior towards one's business that will help convert interested consumers into reliable customers. PR tools are very cost effective and often give you a greater degree of control than merely broad targeted advertising campaigns. Consider using these PR tools to build your business's reputation. I believe things will turn the other way into positive sales and increased profits. Tool number one for our focus and consideration is media relations. Media strategies focus on circulating messages through media channels to manage how your business is portrayed by the media. Your media tool might include releasing media statements and fact sheets, offering on-site media tours to encourage media practitioners to report positive messages about your business, and using social media to get the attention of media practitioners, mainly journalists and track journalists who report in your market. I know for starters this is usually hard, but this is easily achieved by developing good media contact lists and building relationship with key journalists to pitch media release and story ideas to them. You can also use local, regional or state media to promote your business, to manage risks, issues, or crises affecting your business. Tool number two that is uh, available to a media practitioner in performing their duty is what we refer to as advertorials. Advertorials are advertisement in the form of news stories or review in a newspaper. Advertorials allow you to associate your advertising with credibility of the newspaper. Under this context, many businesses will uh, employ advertising or marketing professionals to help them de develop TV advertorials, which are commonly used as a form of advertising and product placement. Era tool number three we look at social media. Social media lets you bypass the main media or mainstream media and go straight to your customers. Using social media networks such as Facebook and Twitter allows you to follow and be followed by uh, media practitioners, drive web traffic, manage issues by responding quickly to criticisms or negative perceptions and increase exposure for your business brand. Tool number four is uh, the newsletter. Print or email newsletters are a good way to promote your business, communicate with your customers and keep them informed of new products and services. Regular newsletters can strengthen your personal connection with the clients and relate your business brand and personality. A well-written newsletter offers information of value to your customers. Under number five in our peer tools, we look at brochures and catalog. Take home or email out brochures or catalogs can help keep your customers thinking about your business and its products or services. 
Properly designed brochures and catalogs give customers confidence in you and your brand and help drive customers to your website or store. Information contained in the business brochure and catalog can be effectively reworked for your website, helping you do business online. The other tool that is available to a PR in their practice is uh, what we call business events. Events are opportunities for business people to gain exposure for their business, promote new products or services, and make sure accurate information reaches the target customers. From a sales point of view, events are a chance to counter customer doubt and build customer confidence. They can also help you research your market and competitors and build your mailing list. Make sure you go to the event prepared with marketing material to disseminate and a way to collect information and customer details. Tread shows an opportunity for business to compete in their industry and share information with people in similar lines of work. The other event which is common is a speaking engagement. Speaking at events where customers are likely to attend helps position you as a leader or innovator in your field. As a business owner or leader, building your reputation as an expert also builds the reputation of your business and draws new customers. Events are valuable promotion opportunities even if they do not have top billing as a speaker. You will build reputation simply by having your business name or logo on uh, the event listing or delivering a presentation about new product or innovation. Additionally, they provide valuable network opportunities. Let's look at uh, sponsorships or uh, partnerships. Partnerships and sponsorships are good for business. Supporting a not-for-profit cause can help build feelings of goodwill and loyalty towards your business. Community partnership may involve an exchange of funds or in-kind benefits to grow a local community organization in return for benefits that promote your business reputation. Partnerships can help consumers identify your brand with good business practice and good ethics. At your exposure as a media practitioner is also a tool which we refer to as community relations. Building good relationships with members of the community where you do business helps build customer loyalty. Find out where the customers in your community live by collecting postal codes at points of sale. Engaging local stakeholders and decision makers help build a profile and level of influence, helping you to interact more and more with customers through word of mouth and ensuring your business interests are factored in the community's decision making. I want to thank you very much for joining us on our YouTube channel where we're discussing purely educational material related to journalism as a career. My name is Dedna Katam. Just in case you've not subscribed, please do subscribe. You have the opportunity to share this knowledge with others and help them join the career where most, of, most people's interests lie.